Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am doing another plan with me this week and I am back in my Erin Condren vertical, still loving it, a month in, still sticking with it. So I am planning for the week of May 6th, which is also the same week as Mother's Day. So I am using this beautiful kit from Sweet Kawaii Design. It is her Mother's Day kit, but the only thing that's really specific to Mother's Day is the full box that says Happy Mother's Day. This can be a pretty versatile kit. It's um, got a bunch of floral elements and my favorite part are these floral headers. Aren't they gorgeous? So I loved that element of it. And then you have a lot of floral um, full boxes and then I love how she does the functional full boxes. They look like a Polaroid style and I really, really like that. There is a couple sayings with mom on them, but like I said, you don't have to use, you could just use this as a fun spring floral kit. And then there's the Happy Mother's Day box. She is bringing back the utensils in the clouds and I love it. Even if I don't use it for meal planning, I love the clouds. And then tons of functional. I am so happy with all the functional, I love it. And then look at that gorgeous like watercolor bottom washi. Isn't it so pretty? And then the date covers. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different this week. So basically I put to-do list on every day, but my to-do list is mainly like a weekly to-do list. So I decided instead of having one on each day, I'm going to have like a running to-do list on this side. I'm going to try it. Um, so basically, and especially with the headers not being like to-do, um, you know, it makes it easier. And then I'm also going to try to stagger my full boxes. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, this may not be the kit to do that with, but whatever, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my headers. I usually don't do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put every header down covering up the header here. space and sometime then i'll be all right i've been having thoughts in my mind i can't get up tell me things i can't say myself from you okay all done with the headers um sorry about my lighting i am still like trying to work with this while i save up money for new lights so i am so sorry if there's a little bit of shadowing and darkness going on but hopefully i can um edit it and open it up a little bit for you guys um, I think next I'm going to do my date covers and for that I'm going to grab my little tweezers. It just seems to help put the little tiny stickers on better. Alright, so while I do this I was going to talk to you guys. So I'm pretty sure by the time this comes out um, everybody will know but I am back on the Sweet Kawhi Design PR team. I'm so excited for it. And um, she's basically bringing back some current and past uh, PR members. So I'm really, really excited to be back on the team. I have an all new freebie. I will post a picture here somewhere either right now <laughs> or at the end um, of my freebie. And I think you guys are going to love it. It, it just, it's me. It's 100% it's me. I'm so excited for it. So, um, if you guys remember the drill from before, if you mention Darshell 10, you will get 10% off your order and you will get my freebie with it. So, I suggest using that like on Freebie Friday to double up your freebies. And Tasia always sends a freebie anyways, so you can get like three freebies potentially if you order on a Friday. Or, you know, it's a really good deal on $2 Tuesday because, you know, the sticker's already really cheap. They're already discounted. Then you can get my discount on top of it and an extra freebie. So, yeah, Tuesdays and Fridays are, like, probably the most popular days to shop in her store. And I think if she has any kind of sale, like, I don't know what the holidays coming up, like Memorial Day and stuff. I don't know if she'll have a sale. Sometimes she does, like, an impromptu sale. Um, if she does a sale and there's, you can't use two coupon codes, so say she's doing, like, 20% off in the shop and that's obviously more than my discount, you can still mention my name and you can still get my freebie. So, uh, that is super exciting. She's one of my favorite sticker shops ever. She's actually the one who got me into decorative planning because... When, I mean, I've always used Erin Condren 
but I don't know. Somehow I came across like somebody with a picture with it decorated and I was just like, huh. And then I don't know if I saw that hashtag plan with me or what, but I just went and started searching on YouTube and you know how you get, it's like I call it a click hole when you just like get carried away on YouTube and you like one thing leads to another and it's like hours of binge watching videos. That's exactly what I did and I wound up on Tasia's channel and I just was like drawn to her, like her sweet voice and her adorable layouts and you know, she's talking all about her stickers. I'm like, okay, I gotta try these out. So I actually, I didn't even have, um, the Erin Condren I had was like the monthly, uh, deluxe monthly or whatever and I already had some um, kind of sticker kits not great quality, but I already had sticker kits in my monthly through the end of the year and I found her like towards the end of the year. So I didn't really need any for my Erin Condren, but I ordered an Erin Condren hourly for the new year. So I bought some kits in anticipation of, you know, the new year and I couldn't wait. So I had a mini happy planner and I went ahead and bought some itty bitty kits to go ahead and decorate my mini happy planner. Even though I really didn't need to, I just like, couldn't take it. I run, I wanted to try her sticker so bad. So that's how I got started with Sweet Koi Design. All right, so the bottom washi, I'll, um, she, it's just two long strips now. It's not short on one side like it used to be. Um, I kind of vary where I put it, but right now I'm just gonna put it along this bottom dotted line. I kind of like a little bit of white space at the bottom, so I don't put it all the way to the bottom. Oh gosh, what am I doing? I think I have to go upside down with this. I don't know why certain way I have to put on certain stickers. Slightly crooked. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, I love that watercolor bottom washi. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. So I got my tea over here. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do that's a little bit different is I'm going to kind of like stagger my boxes and I don't want to color block them. Like I don't want the headers to match up with the box. So I'm going to kind of offset them. I do know on Wednesday, let's see. On Wednesday, I want one of these. So Wednesday and Sunday, I am going to put a, a to-do list because I have stuff that I have to do on those days. So I'm going to put this more like functional full box which I guess technically all of them are functional because you can um, layer over the um, just the floral patterned ones. I think I'm gonna try to go from the bottom up. I feel like with these headers, I feel like I don't put them on very straight, which is probably true. Um, I'm used to the neutral planner when I was planning in my A5. This is like my first, this is like my first vertical um, colorful and it's just a little bit tricky with the headers when you are diff when you're used to like putting them inside of a box. So I might have to go from the bottom up on some of these. Okay, and then let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally, <laughs> I totally switched the days around. I just noticed Saturday and Sunday. Whoops. Let's see if I can put these on without my tweezers. There we go. Glad these are removable. I would have had to been getting out my undo. Okay, let me switch these around real quick. Minor boo-boo. Okay, and actually I take that back about Sunday because um, the full box that I wanna use is the one that says Happy Mother's Day. Let's see, so I'm gonna put it up here at the top. Um, maybe I'll put another checklist on Saturday then. I'm probably gonna be readjusting these headers Oops, as I go. I thought I could like put them on before, but I don't think that's gonna work for me. Oh my gosh, why am I struggling? I think it's like all like the patterns. It's like throwing me off. I love it. It's just I'm so used to having solids up against a pattern. There we go. Okay. Phew, that's done. Um, okay. Question is, I might still just put a checklist on Sunday because why not? So I need to figure out. So I have one, 
two, three, four, four more like um, decorative for full boxes. And I want two, three, four, five days. I think I will put another one of these on Saturday. So we're gonna put that one over here just to have kind of like, I don't know, symmetry, I guess. There, that one went down a lot better. And then I don't think it matters which ones I put where. I'm gonna put this one up here. I'm gonna have to move this for all of these, I bet. So this is kind of gonna be a no white space plan with me, apparently. That is what I'm making it. I didn't really intend on that, but I don't mind, you know? Um, I don't want to put white. I think I'll put blue on that day. I don't know why I laid down the headers first. So that spacing did not work out, but that's okay. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. All right, and then let's do the green. And then those are the white, and we'll be done with the full boxes. I'm really realizing how crooked I got these. Oh shit, Darshall. There we go. I'm like struggling today, big time. I think this one's gonna be crooked, I just have a feeling. Yeah, just a little bit. I know it's like minuscule, but that is like one of my pet peeves. I like my planner. I like my stickers to be straight. It's just part of my OCD. Okay, I'm not gonna do this for all of them. Obviously, these just where the full boxes are. Um, I think the floral pattern kind of blends it so well. It doesn't matter if the headers like aren't exactly lined up all the way across. But like, look at that! Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I'm really excited. That looks awesome. Um, the only thing I didn't think of is what I'm gonna put up in the corner, but I think because of the way I'm gonna set this up, I think I'm going to put my weekly schedule. And I wanna say that I'm gonna use that for work. I'm trying to think if I wanna put, usually what I do is I put like a quarter box on top of it and put work, but I don't know. I kind of am feeling like something else. I don't know what. Let me see if I have any glitter that I can incorporate. For some reason, glitter just sounds really fun. I know I have glitter. It's just seeing if it'll look okay, you know, with the spread. Okay, so I'm just, I pulled all my glitter. You know what? I know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use washi. Good idea, Darshall. That's pretty. Um... green that's not green enough okay, let me see what I have for purple I mean just tick it I mean that's not like that is the same pink as the roses I think that would look pretty there is hot pink oh it's not the right kind of hot pink My purple washi is book washi I've got those little hearts but I don't really like that with it I think I'm gonna use this washi I don't know if I'm gonna like it but I'm gonna try it Cause I, I mean, I have so much washi, my collection is like growing, but I just, I feel like I don't have <laughs> the washi that I need. I don't know. It's so weird. I should have probably used some of my headers up here, but that's okay. All right, so I am going to white out that little dotted line because I don't like when it shows up through the washi. I'll just cover it right up with... Simply Gilded Bow Washi. And then I got my little slice tool. And then usually what I do is I just grab like one of my journaling cards. Kind of line it up. I'm still not great with this little slice tool, but I'm getting there. Some days are better than others with it. 
All right, so then I'm just going to put down my, oh, that needs to be longer. Hmm. Just gonna really mess this up when I pull it up. Yeah. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that I'm really bad about incorporating washi. I'm getting better, but I don't know. I'm just really bad at incorporating washi into my spreads. So I'm trying. All right, let's put the washi down first. And then I'm gonna put the weekly schedule. I'm gonna move it over just a bit. I'm kind of trying to line it up with the bottom, with the spacing. Just like hugging that line. There we go. There, and then that way, now I can cut the washi to match it. Better. Much better. I'm so afraid of cutting through the paper with this. That's why I'm like extra gentle. Okay, I think I am gonna put washi underneath it too. I think framing it is the way to go. My kitty's in here, he wants attention. Whoops. Sometimes if it's not stuck down, it kind of bunches up. That's my bad, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with it. Okie dokie. So, I won't know if I like love this until like the spread's done, but I think I do. Um, and then I do want to do, I said I was going to do a checklist, like a overall to do. I think I might have a to do script. I know I do somewhere. I got rid of a lot of my um, extra script stuff just because I only use certain shops, you know? So I kind of purged a lot of the stuff that I don't use. But I rearranged it, so I don't know where everything is at. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a to-do. I have a Nicole Hutch Designs to-do list. I think I might just kind of put it right here above my... Kind of centered right there. And then I'm going to grab, not green because I have the green schedule. I'm going to grab this blue checklist. I know the hearts don't like 100% match up, but that's okay. And I'm trying to decide if I want it a little bit longer than that or not. I don't think so. I think that'll be okay. Let me put my um, habit trackers on and then we will see. Okay, the more I look at this, I don't like this washi. So I might just have my schedule there without a header. It's not that I don't like the washi, I just don't really like it. I don't like this pink with the pink in the kit. Like it is the same color as the roses, but it's not, it's, I don't know. It's just bugging me not perfect enough so I'm just gonna put the schedule right at the top call it good there we go now question is can I get this oh yeah that came off really easy <laughs> okay so we'll still put the little to-do list and then I think what I'm gonna do since I have two blue ones this actually worked out really well I'm gonna just um, make an extra long list over here. This is new, I've never done this before, so. Oh, that works perfectly. Okay, let me grab my little card again. I'm gonna cut it off underneath this one. So it'll be a teeny bit of gap. Wish me luck on cutting this. Okay, that wasn't as crooked as it could be. <laughs> I'm not good at cutting straight. Hmm. I 
think I put it down just a little bit crooked. I kind of want to make it look like it's one continuous list. Yeah! Ooh, look at that, guys. That looks so good. Extra long to-do list. I like it. All right, so I did mention that I do need a to-do list on Wednesday, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the... Let's do the purple one. So we will put the to-do list on Wednesday. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and put one on Saturday as well. I'm going to use this pink. It's kind of fuchsia color. Just to kind of have a weekend checklist, a little bit more focused. Perfect. Okay, I can put these to-do lists away. All right, I think that's going to work. Um, let's take a look-see. Yes. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to put down some functional. I will definitely fill in white spaces with character stickers. I like doing that. So there will be some white space left over. Just so you know. I think I am going to kind of color block these. Just because that's how my mind works. So there's only one green day. So let's see. And I think I will leave a little bit of white space. Okay, and then I'm gonna leave this for character stickers. And then, oh, the clouds, I forgot about the clouds. You know, I think I'm gonna save my clouds. Cause I don't wanna like over clutter this, you know? There we go, left a little bit of white space. And then I think I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, I can't think of anything crazy going on on Monday. Tuesday, let's see. Blue. The purple, so the pinks. Okay, so we're going to use this color pink on this day. And again... Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the half box on the bottom for this one. Um, yeah. Let's do a... Mm, I don't want to put that right in the middle because I know that I'm not going to get it straight. Put it at the top. I may end up moving some of these around. It just depends. I'm just trying to fill it out so it's not like I leave you guys with like nothing, you know? Okay, so this one I have a full box that has some space. I'm gonna go ahead and use a half box here as well. And then I think I'm gonna use this. Oh, that's kind of a weird space. I'm just gonna leave it. I, I do like those labels, but I'm gonna leave it off. Okay, um, and then this day, let's do this light pink color and I'm going to start with this label and then I do want to put a half box we'll stick that at the bottom mm, I might do a quarter box too maybe here Friday. I'm going to go ahead and use up both of these. I might try to put that in the middle. And then I can put character stickers above and below it. And I've got another half box. And just because I don't want this line here, um, I'm going to use this half box. I don't like those two side by side though, so I'm going to switch this up just a bit. quarter box down here and then I think I think I have room to put the half box and still put something else in between it whoops I am like way off out of out of camera out of frame sorry about that 
Okay. Yeah, I've got a little bit of space. I can shove something in there. Got Friday done Saturday. Um, I'm going to use this half box. This hot pink one. Okay. And then Sunday we're back to the blue. So I'm going to use this guy at the bottom again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put him right here. And then we'll do box, and then let's put quarter box. Actually, I will. How do I want to do this? I will go at the top. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I can put down, I've got a couple functional things left so I can add them in if I want to and same with list. Ooh, and I got these little flags. I forgot about these. I do want to use these somewhere. Let's put a flag here because this is kind of open. And then let's put one, you know, I'm, I'm gonna change my mind on this. I'm gonna move this around just a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and put it at the top. And then I'm going to put the flag. Hmm. Oh, that's an awkward space. Let me just kind of center it. And I'll figure out something to put there. Maybe. You know what, maybe just for the hell of it, I'm just gonna put the flag on Mother's Day. It matches that purple full box, so. Um, do I have another purple? No, I don't, okay. That's okay. Oops, wrong day. Okay, there we go, I like that. Um, payday, I do have a little payday on Friday. So I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna try to squeeze, you know, another character sticker up there. So that's why I'll just leave it like that. Laundry will be on Saturday, so I can actually put that on my checklist. Little Georgie in the socks. I believe I have an every plate delivery on this day, so I'm gonna use that little grocery bag for that. I don't know what I'm gonna use the crafty time for. Probably my plan with me, but I don't know what I'm gonna do it yet, so I'm gonna hold off. I do have the weekend banner. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, I like that. You know what, and I actually might remove this down. And then I think I'm gonna move this down too. I just don't like having white space above the weekend banner. I don't know why. All right, guys, I think that is everything I can do for now. I think I'm gonna take some pictures and then I'll come back and fill it in. I don't usually don't do that, but you know what? I feel like I, feel like I wanna do that and then I'll add some deco too. Um, so I will be back here in just a little bit. Here is what it looks like before the pen and I'll be back to write with a pen. I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. Sorry, I had a brief um, little pause there. And now that I'm doing that, I noticed that my weekly schedule is a bit crooked. Let's fix that. Okay, so to write in my planner, um, I on the stickers with Sweet Quiet Design, you want to use a permanent marker. And my favorite is the Pilot Ultra Find Permanent Marker. Let's see if I can get it to... Focus. There we go. Pilot. Um, it's just got a really like fine point and it is permanent and that's my favorite for the stickers. I go back and forth on what I write with on the paper. Last week I tried using a Papermate Flare, which I like Papermate Flare, but and I like my handwriting with it, but some for some reason, I don't know, it just looks like kind of like weird on the paper after I write on it. I don't know, it's just not my favorite. So I dug out, like I reorganized my pens recently and I dug out my old 
G2, which it looks like it's really low on ink. And I think that is my only G2 right now. Maybe not. This one, I can't tell if it's the same point. This one's from like an office or something. Let's do a little pen test. I want to make sure they are the same because if one runs out, I want to make sure I have another G2 to write with. Sorry again about my lighting. So here is my Pilot G2. It looks like maybe it's a little finer point, but that's okay. That'll work as a backup just in case. Okay, so I need to write in, let's start with my work because that I know. I'm gonna kind of zoom in again. I am so sorry about my lighting. Hopefully I can make this look better in post-processing. So normally I write in like where I work, but since I'm only working one place this week, I'm just gonna write in my hours. And then on Sunday, I'm working P. So like I said, my handwriting is not super fancy. It's just my handwriting. <laughs> okay, um, and then as far as plans, I do have a couple things for my to-do because the following week, my in-laws are coming into town. So I need to do the guest bedding. Um, and so I don't know if I want to go with the hearts or the lines. I think I'm going to go with the hearts so I can check them off properly. Um, bathrooms need cleaned. What else do I need to get done this week? That I'll come back to. Um, and then as far as habits, I recently found out I have asthma, I guess. So I'm on a couple inhalers now. One of them I have to do every day, twice a day. So I, it's new, so I need to keep track of it. So I'm just going to put inhaler. And then I also like to keep up my water intake. And then my sleep. Super important. Okay. Um, and then as far as like concrete plans, I have a haircut on Wednesday. So I'm going to grab, I have a haircut sticker. I just got to find where I keep it. There we go. It's these little scissors. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on the other side so I don't have to write as close to the coil. Um, sorry, they're doing construction across the street, so I apologize if it's like, if you can hear it. It's really annoying. Okay, so Wednesday, the other thing, um, the, one of the reasons why I put a checklist on there is I do, I do clean the litter box on Wednesday. And I just ordered more of these little stickers, so thank goodness. Um, okay, that's all for now for Wednesday. Thursday, I have a an every plate order, every plate delivery. Okay, and then Friday, I'm just gonna jump over Friday really quick. Friday is my payday. Um, and I'm just gonna put where I'm getting paid from. And then I'll fill in the amount when I know. I'm going to go ahead and jump over here to Saturday and put down that we are doing. That I need to do the laundry. And then Sunday I'm going to go ahead and put another litter box sticker because I clean the litter box on Sundays. I don't know if I just want to put that in the middle or if I want to write clean litter box. Okay, do I have any other plans? With this being Mother's Day, I might do something with my mom in the morning before work, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, oh yeah, on Friday is our trash day too. I need to put something down for that. I can use this little guy. I'll fill it here in this little white space. Okay. Is there anything else I need to put down? I know it's pretty empty. I am a plan as I go person. So I don't know, is Game of Thrones still gonna be on at that time? 
So let me see here. I just watched episode three. Oh, episode five, yeah. They don't have more than five episodes. So um, let's see what kind of tracker I have for that. I already used up all my little um, Game of Thrones wolves that came on the little countdown sticker. So I have this little My Happy Place sticker. <laughs> I actually might use, might use this. Oh no, I forgot. I have these stickers. I ordered them. Dang it. The meal subscription. I might use that instead. I'll save my little grocery bag for something else, for actual groceries. I completely forgot that I had these. I'm so glad I saw them. Look at Andrew, they're under Happy Mail. That makes sense. So I'm just gonna put down a you know, subscription sticker. You know what, since I'm doing that, actually, move some things around. As the beauty of these stickers is that you can move things around. And I'm gonna put this underneath. Oops. And I'm gonna move this flag over here. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, I'm so glad I saw those. Totally forgot. I will have to film my plan with me for the next week. And I won't do it on Wednesday because I have a haircut. Actually, or will I do it on Wednesday because I have a haircut? She always makes, makes my hair look real good. Let's go ahead and throw it up here on this checklist and then I can move it if I end up doing it a different day. Okay guys, I think that's actually all I can do right now. I can't think of anything else um, this far ahead that I know of that I need to do. I don't have any other appointments that week. Um, I don't have anything special going on. My husband and I usually have some kind of date night little cat hairs everywhere. Um, we usually have some kind of date night on Friday, but I never know until it happens if it's going to be like a night out, night in. What the heck? Why is like my cat hair all attracted to these stickers right now? Whoa. Apparently I need to vacuum in here. So I just cleaned the entire house yesterday, but it wasn't enough. Um, so like I said, as I kind of think of things I need to do, I'll add it to my to-do list. Um, with it being a week ahead of time, I don't know what cleaning I'm going to get done this week um, that won't need to be added on. So I'm going to kind of wait and see what I can get done this week before I start adding more stuff to next week. Oh my gosh, look how crooked that is. Like it goes up. That's why I use lines. <laughs> uh, I am currently working on improving my handwriting. So hopefully it will translate over into my planner because I know my handwriting is not bad, but it's just so plain. I just, I just want to be able to write nicer. That's my goal. But Anyways, I love this spread. I love the uh, watercolor florals. I think it's so pretty, Mother's Day or not. I think it's just a gorgeous layout. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And now that it has been announced, be sure to use my code DARSHELL10 for 10% off your order. And you will get my exclusive freebie along with that. Oh, I do know what I forgot. I was gonna write in Game of Thrones. Guess I can do that real quick here. Perfect. Okay. So like I was saying, Darshell 10 for my freebie and 10% off your order at Sweet Koi Design. If you guys have not tried these stickers, I highly suggest that they are one of a kind, probably my favorite quality of stickers. They, they're just amazing. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys back here on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye. And I wonder why there's cat hair all over my desk and my planner. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, can you get off my planner? Hey, hey.